assessment guru Dylan William tells us that providing effective feedback to students as a formative assessment strategy can increase student achievement. The challenge for teachers, however, is trying to find the time to provide that feedback in a timely and effective manner, as writing and typing feedback can be very time consuming. OneNote now has a way of recording audio clips from almost any device to be played back on almost any device, and this opens up the possibility of teachers giving audio feedback in a very timely and efficient manner. Here's how it works. Audio recording works on any OneNote notebook, but in this example, I've created a class notebook where my students and I can collaborate and share. Class notebooks can instantly be set up in your Office 365, and they include three main areas. One is a content library where I, the teacher, can add any files, notes, links, media, etc. Uh, and the students can only copy or view that area. There's also a collaboration space where we can all add content and edit that in the class. Uh, as well, the third area is that each student has their own personal notebook um, where they can add their own content and only the student and I can see that area. So uh, in this content library, I have put a reflection from a science activity. Uh, the students would copy that prompt and add it to their own personal notebook where they complete the prompt. So now I, as a teacher, can quickly go through each student's work from my own iPad, iPhone, laptop, or computer and quickly give them feedback uh, on their learning. So on your device, you go to the area that you'd like to give audio feedback and simply hit the audio uh, button from the insert menu. So I really like in your picture how you have Once you've finished giving your audio feedback, you can move on to the next student and quickly give audio feedback to each student. Students and teachers can record or play back audio on a computer as well using the Chrome browser. Insert record audio will add a new audio note wherever you've clicked. When there is audio already on the page and you select it, a record and playback tab opens at the top or you can just select the play icon on the audio clip itself. This works on any computer or laptop with a Chrome browser including a PC, Mac, or a Chromebook. Before you start giving students audio feedback, let's make sure you're doing so effectively. As Dylan William tells us, that providing feedback ineffectively can actually hurt achievement. So here are some things to remember. In his book, Embedded Formative Assessment, Dylan William talks about feedback, points out that ineffective feedback can actually decrease achievement and effective feedback can increase achievement. So when looking at the two types of feedback, the ineffective feedback is typically ego involved, as Dylan William puts it. So things even like praise or giving marks that focus on where the learner sits uh, in the classroom as opposed to the work itself. So Task-involved feedback, on the other hand, Dylan William points out, is effective, and it focuses on the work, it focuses on what to improve, and more so, how to improve it, and those things can lead to a great increase in student achievement. So when you're giving feedback, be sure to keep that in mind. Good feedback, he points out, causes thinking, not an emotional reaction. For more information on OneNote, uh, visit OneNoteInEducation.com where you can find out more information about all aspects of OneNote, including the class notebook that we looked at earlier. Thanks for watching.